Well, hello, everybody. It's me, Kelly. Obviously, you're watching my video. Um, when we were moving over this last month, you know, I don't know about anybody else. I'm sure a lot of people do this, but every time you move, you go through and you gather up boxes of things that you just don't use anymore. My rule of thumb is if I haven't used it in two years, I'm probably not going to. So, uh, and then if that's the case, then pff, it goes to the Goodwill or this place we use down here called Teen Challenge. It's a Christian organization that um, is like a Goodwill, but um, the funds that are raised actually goes towards mission work as opposed to lining somebody's pockets. So, um, anyways, but my dad had gotten a box of his stuff together and he told me to go through it and make sure there wasn't something in it that I wanted before we dumped, <clears throat> dumped the stuff at uh, Teen Challenge. And I went through one of his boxes and in his box he had this, it's called a greeting card book. Now, I know there's a lot of us out there that, when we started scrapbooking, okay, because that's pretty much kind of how this major craze, craft craze, started was with scrapbooking and making um, your own cards, greeting cards. Well, a lot of times when you get out all the stuff to make a greeting card, you really don't want to just stop at one. You know, you got your mojo going and your groove is on and, you know, you're just plugging away and you've got one person with a birthday. You make a card, but you've got all these supplies around and you think, well, I'll just make a few more and I don't know what I'll do with them, but, you know, I'll pass them out later. Give them away, that type of thing. Because I know me, when I get going, I just want to keep going until my fuse runs out. But this is what I found in one of the boxes he was gonna, and I thought, what a great idea if I could try and turn it into a craft project that other people might be able to use and an easy, organized way of storing all those extra cards that you really don't have a use for, but you wanna use them eventually because obviously it's your own work, right? So when I saw this, um, I just thought, okay, wow, this is pretty cool. It's got a magnet flap here. But when you open it up, okay, let me open it up with one finger or a whole hand, all right? There's sections in here that have pockets, you know? And this one says January, and it's 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 made of a, uh, where you can, you know, like date, say your brother's birthday is January 5th. So you put January 5th and then your brother's name, occasion, birthday. Um, you don't even have to do this, but this is just what this is for. And then you write down in here how many people you know that have a birthday in January, you know, that you might want to send a card to. I mean, obviously you're not going to send everybody you know that has a birthday in January unless you just like to do that, which is great, you know. But uh, there's a pocket here. To hold cards or January birthdays or anniversaries or you know any other reason christenings um, you know whatever and they've got it all the way through where it's February March you know but these pockets are big enough to hold extra greeting cards and their envelopes okay See, this one's got quite a few envelopes and cards in it all the way through. And at the back, and you can you can do the cards uh, based on theme, you know, like a fall card or a summer card or a Christmas card, Halloween, you know, that type of thing. And even if you didn't want to do this for um, greeting cards, you can also make something like this themed for holidays, you know. Uh, January, you've got winter, you know, it's February, you've got Valentine's Day, March, you've got St. Patrick's Day, or whatever else holiday that you want to study, April, you've got Easter, May, June, you've got, you know, summer, spring and summer, July, 4th of July, August, September, you've got fall, October's 
Halloween, November, Thanksgiving, December's Christmas. So even if you didn't want to do it month by month, you could do it topically or thematically um, with holding ephemera, graphics, you know, things like that. Because I'm having a hard time making, um, you know, like finding storage, like all my Halloween graphics. When I'm done with Halloween, what am I going to do? I'm going to throw them in a drawer and then forget where they're at. So this is what I'll probably use mine for because I'm not a, I don't make greeting cards very often. I don't, my personal opinion is I don't have the craft. <laughs> I don't have the, the skill. Um, there are so many beautiful crafters out there that have that skill that can make a, perf a perfect greeting card. And mine always just to me come up flat. You know, I have good intentions when I start, but when I'm down, I'm like, ugh, it's missing something. Okay. So, but at the back of this, it's also got right here cards and it's not, you know, a whole bunch. It's just one card front and back, a telephone directory or just an address directory, you know, one card's got A and B, C and D all the way through. It's got 13 cards for all the alphabet and it's put in one little excuse me ah okay let's go back this way see this to me is awkward these bindings right here there we go there and you've got it all in one section that just slide up on your on your shelf anyways perfect idea I thought great so those who make greeting cards have a spot to keep them all in and organized um, me I'm going to use mine for holiday graphics and I was trying to come up with a way to figure out how to do this and I was playing with it over the last couple days and this is what I came up with <clears throat> uh, let me put this aside there all right I'm a big proponent of these book rings. You can get them at the Dollar Tree for a buck. Um, these are the medium size ones um, that are like that. Let me get a bigger one so you can see. Ah, there we go. Okay, they have bigger ones and they have smaller ones. They have another smaller size, but mine's in the other room. So I didn't need a great big one. So I used the smaller ones. Make sure I didn't. There we go. Okay. So I cut some chipboard to match. And what I started with, and I'm not done. Like I said, this is a prototype. This is what I'm just trying to figure out myself. Um, I've got six here. And when I first originally started this, I was going to do it for greeting cards. But while I was explaining to you and I thought, ooh, graphics, that'd be a better idea. So I can probably add more than just these six right here but there's a pocket on both sides and you can decorate these pockets any way you want you can you know do whatever okay and then there's a back cover I didn't feel like messing with the flap and in the magnet and all of that because I figure by the time this is done it's gonna be pretty big and if it's too big I can also add a bigger ring I can add more pockets of these if I wanted. So how I did these, I'm going to show you. I have a bunch of these file folders. I think I picked them up at a Goodwill and they were in a big box and there was like out of a hundred in a box, I think there's probably maybe 10 or 15 missing. So I was looking at it because you know, the file folders, are thick, almost as thick, well, thicker than a lot of the uh, cardstock we use. So, and you've got it where they've got the three scored fold. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of bright in here. Let me see if I can. No, that's not going to work. Okay. Anyways, at the bottom, you can see um, there's little scores where you can fold in case your file folder gets too big. Let's see if you can see that on the inside a little bit right down through here 
what I found and what worked for me really well was I took my file holders at the edge. Some may not have this edge. Some might. Let me see. There we go. That little curvy edge. I took mine all the way down to the um, this. If you didn't want to, you don't have to. As long as you get it lined up with this and you cut this strip off. So that's what I'm going to do with this. Okay, now you can keep these. Um, the bigger ones I do, these little ones, I don't know. Let's keep them off to the side. Might use them for tabs. Okay. Now I did six originally because, you know, a, a pocket on both sides gives you 12 months. <clears throat> Oops. All right, so now you've got this. You've got the one side without the scores right here and this side with the scores. So on the side facing up, the scores facing up, I took this front, the top piece, okay, and I folded it all the way down to the bottom. Now, if you wanted and you didn't want to deal with something this thick, okay, you can always, after you do this part, cut this flap off. All right. It lessens your bulk. It does. But for me, I like the bulk because it gives my pockets strength when you're tucking cards in, pulling them out, that type of thing. And it gives the pockets some strength. Now I'm just using a bold folder and pressing that crease in. Okay, then with this on this side, all right, the fold on the front, you fold it half again backwards away from you so that the pockets are on the outside. Now with file folders, obviously, it's going to be a little bit thicker. But that's why I chose to use them instead of, you know, just creating or adding pockets to an already existing piece of paper. <sighs> there we go. Okay, so now you've got a page with a pocket on this side and a pocket on this side. Now for me, you can leave this, you can glue it shut if you want, or you can glue it on one side if you want, have another additional pocket in there for taller graphics. Um, what I did was, let me get one of my pieces out so I can measure up the holes. Okay, what I did and see the same size was I took and I made sure that two of the holes that were going to be, you know, put into the paper were in the heavier pocket side. That way it gives that a little bit more strength. So let me put this back in here. Wow, well, set it aside for a minute. Okay. Now your pull punch is not going to go through all of that. Okay. So I just, I opened it up. And I did it this way. Now it will go through two, so I'll just put those together. But after I did that, I took my pencil and I just did a little circle, opened it up, 
there's my circles and then punch those through. I still, when I went to the Dollar Tree last night, I was looking for some more book rings because I haven't been able to find them in our Dollar Tree. Um, so I went to a different city last night and looked in theirs and they didn't have one. Well, this was my original hole punch and this thing is probably 20, 25 years old. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty old, but it still worked really well. I used this one on all the others. It didn't make my hand sore because it's not as sharp as it was. So I figured I'd grab another one to see what it was like. If it, you know, if getting a sharper one was easier and it really is. So if you've got an old one, you know, put it aside for your kids or your grandkids or, you know, whatever. Or if you don't want to use it anymore, chunk it and get another one. I got this at the Dollar Tree for a buck. So, but the new one worked a lot better. And this one actually has a little holder in the bottom that holds all the pops, you know, the dots that pop out and go flying. When I used the other one, they were flying which way and everywhere and just all over the place. So it took me like 10 minutes to chase the cat off to stop playing with them and drag them all over my bedroom. <clears throat> so, but that's what that was. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. Since obviously I'm not going to just do the greeting cards now. Since I had an epiphany, and I'm going to use it for holiday graphics now obviously if you go you know balls to the wall and and bullshit bananas I guess that's what it's called with graphics you can make them bigger smaller you can make separate ones of these that you know one just strictly for Halloween strictly for depends on how organized you want to get me I'm not that picky I just want to be able to find something that I know I have somewhere in my craft room <laughs> there we go there see now the front and back cover obviously I made them just a little bit bigger um, I did it by, let's see, it was nine inches by six and a half, I believe. Oops, wrong way. Nope, nine by seven. And that was enough to give me a little bit of lip on both sides. And I did it a little bit longer here uh, on the outer edge, only because I was thinking greeting cards. So I was thinking a place to, you know, maybe put a pen or a pencil or something. Or one of those dry erase markers if you wanted to put, you know, some um, laminate across the top of this. And I was also thinking about putting one of those pencil pockets in the back to hold stamps, extra envelopes, extra pens or pencils, whatever you wanted to do. So, and when I did this, I did want to let you know that most of the cards, unless they're, you know, like... Um, like A2 size cards, maybe A4, um, they fit. So just to let you know. So it's not like you've got to come up with something individual, individually and totally create your own. But then there's, like I said, and you can use it for just about anything you want. And then if you wanted, you know, you could also use all of your stamps and stuff for um that you have you know you got christmas stamps and halloween stamps and spring stamps and flower stamps and goofy stamps and things like that you can use those to decorate um another way you can do this these and it takes a little bit of the bulk off the bottom is what i did with this one okay so after i trimmed it and I, I folded it down and creased it. I took this and I just cut, let me see, I just cut the bottom chunk of it off. See, there's my pocket part right here. And I just cut the bottom chunk of this off. Took a little less weight, you know, because it took that part off. It gave me this, which you can use as a tag. You can do whatever you want with it. Anyway, 
And then I thought this right here, this will give this section right here a little bit of um, more strength for, you know, putting things and taking it out, that type of thing. Took off some of the weight. And then this gives you a perfect little spot to um, add a title uh, stamp or put like, you know, January or February or Christmas or Halloween or whatever you wanted. It was just another way. But I waited until after I got it punched to do that. So I know my holes still lined up. Okay. So on that note, since I'm going to do um, just graphics on it, what I would suggest if I'm doing graphics and not just greeting cards, because greeting cards, you know, they'll just, they'll slide right in and out. You don't have to worry about anything falling out this side. But since I'm going to do it the other way, I'm going to take these back off. Yeah, it would have probably been easier to do it one at a time, but then, hey, who said life has to be easy? Okay. Need a bigger crack desk. No, I'm just kidding. I'm really good. Oops. And I like these using book rings a lot of times. Sometimes it might not be the look you want and you want a sewn journal or whatever. Um, sometimes book rings allow the extra space. You know, sewn, you're looking at this. With a book ring, you've got that much more space to add to whatever it is you're using. Okay, so since I decided... I'm going to use mine for graphics. I'm going to go ahead and cut this lower part off just to get rid of some of that um, extra bulk. And what I will probably do, oh, there's one of my dots. Alrighty. So I'm going to make sure I get the same amount cut off on each one, not just go willy-nilly. So I believe I need to put it this way. Do I want to cut off two inches? Let's try two and a half. Yep, two and a half inches. That'll work. There. And that gives me a perfect little lip right here. So I'm going to do that with these. Give me a minute. I'll be right back after I'm done cutting these all off. Okay, um, it took me a minute longer because I made me three more uh, pockets. Um, and these pieces that I cut out, you know, the bottom two and a half inches that already have the one hole in them. I grabbed an extra book ring. Uh-oh, I think I put the, that one on backwards. I did. Okay, so I put them all together on one book ring just to kind of hold them. But let me ask you something. Can you think of something that you could do with these? I could think of a couple right off the bat. Let me see. And it's all hanging. You know, you could do Valentine's Day is coming up. So you can do little, you know, uh, I love yous or you're so sweet or whatever. And just kind of run those across. Um, you could also do, uh, um, what do you call it, like paint swatches or ink swatches. Um, if you're using alcohol sprays and you make your own, you can spray it and do whatever you want. Um, you could also just 
use it and make cards and tags, you know, little cards and tags and stuff and just have one place to hold them all. But I'm sure your imagination is much wider than mine, so you could come up with something. And if you didn't want them folded, you could always just, you know, cut off the fold and then you'd have double the amount here on the ring or any other way you'd like to hold it. So, but this also gives me an easy way to pick them up and move them when I'm done and I'm cleaning up. So we'll put that there. All right, so this is what I've got. I ended up with, okay, yeah. So I remember what I was going to do now. I got sidetracked to glue the pocket sides together so my graphics won't fall out. Okay, you can glue them or you can tape them. Me, I'm probably going to glue. That way, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to use tacky. I'll just use the tacky glue. Oh, let me get out a baby wipe first. So I can clean up the excess glue. Oh, wow, I think my... My Ziploc baggie's got a hole in it because my baby wipes are drying out. So let me just squirt them a couple times with some glycerin water. And I will close this back up. And in a little bit, I will put them in another baggie. Okay. These are dried, so... Spray these down a little bit. Don't want them soaking. Oh, and before I do that, I want to get out my clips. There we go. Okay. So, let's grab some of these out. Yeah, I put all my little handmade paper clips and let's see, things that people have given me, have made me. Like this is a paper clip. I love this one. This has just got a bunch of little pretties on it, sideways with fibers. Isn't that pretty? Somebody made me that. And then I made some of my own with my, my molds and my clay. <sighs> you know, so. And then I painted some of my own baby paper clip or baby clothespins. A couple different kinds and different styles. These are itty bitty. There we go. This was a metallic pink, but it almost looks gold. It's like a rose gold. And I put glitter on, stickles on the outside of one. And anyways, but yeah, so I get bored sometimes. I don't want the little one. But yeah, these will hold, these will hold the pages together. Somebody gave me this. And they glued a little wooden applique or a little wooden heart on it. Which I'm going to leave out because Valentine's Day is coming up. There's a paper clip right there. Somebody did that. So Valentine's Day, I'm going to leave that one out. A couple. There's one. That one's just a plain one I did. Let's see. There we go. It's got a little pearl on it, a half back, both sides. Okay, so let's leave that out. Let's put these up. I'm going to set these aside. Put those up in a minute.
Now it might be easier just to use tape, but honestly, the sticky on tape doesn't last all that long, in my opinion. Now this, I'm just closing up the sides where the fold is to keep any of my graphics from falling out the sides. And for a good clean seal, I'm going to put some clips on them. Actually, I could probably just fold it to do it that way. Save me some clips. And we'll set that one aside for a minute. Put that up there so I don't lose it. We'll do the same with this. Okay, so to save time, I'm going to pause this, glue them all, clip them all. You've seen what I did, right? I'll do one more. Again, if you wanted to use this top as a pocket, then glue all the way up and then make sure you secure the bottom. Okay. I may later on at another time, but right now, for all intents and purposes, this is where I'm going to stay at. So, all right, I'm going to pause this and I will be right back. Give me just a second. Okay, I am back and now I'm just pulling my clips off. I said they don't have to stay on very long. I didn't glue the folds together, just the pocket. Hmm. But if you wanted to glue the pocket together, that's, you know, like I said, that's your prerogative. Nope, that got a decent seal. And there we go. This was my prototype, and the, the holes are off, I believe. Yeah, they're not lined up, so I figure I'll use this for something else. All right. But I went ahead and made a couple extra pockets because, you know, I aside from, you know, Christmas and the different holidays, you know, there are some things, you know, like steampunk, uh, mermaids, fairies, uh, you know, different things like that. And maybe you want one with just, you know, leaves in nature, um, animals and architecture, whatever, you know. But now with that, um, I don't know if I'm going to decorate today or not. I'm still kind of working out what I want to do. Um, I may use some of the graphics to decorate, to delineate, you know, like maybe do some steampunk stamps with gears and and stuff like that. But I don't know yet. May use some paper, may not. Um, but it gives you a plethora of ideas that you can use you know, to help organize your craft room. Greeting cards, great idea. Graphics, I love that idea. You could even go as far as doing photos or, you know, something like that. You can decorate it to match the decor in your craft room. Um, anything you want. You know, the sky is the limit. And we all know that Obviously, this guy has no limit. Unless you want to get technical and turn it into atmosphere with no oxygen and blah, blah, blah. 
the sentiment is there. So for now, I'm going to put these away, wait for my next bout of creative uh, juices to start flowing. And I may in a little while decide to get up and, you know, hey, I have an idea and that's what I want to do. Now you see how I'm doing only one ring at a time? To me, it's a lot easier putting these together, you know, to help. Some may not think that way. They may have a different, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, what do you call it? System. That's the word. System. Okay. To do this. Me? Eh. I just kind of do whatever floats my boat at the time. <laughs> but isn't that what crafting is about? You know, just kind of working with your creative juices and hopefully something comes out really pretty in the end. <laughs> but on that note, I'm going to let you guys go. I want you to know that I hope you have a very wonderful day and I hope it is filled with lots of blessings and lots of love, lots of laughter, and lots of friends and family. And for those who may not feel that they have a family or friends, just know that I'm your friend. We may not know each other personally. But I'm always here to talk if somebody needs. And we're a community. You know, crafters are a community. Now, there are some assholes out there that don't understand the meaning of the word community. But I think you can find that everywhere. You know. Um, There are some people out there that just love to tear people down instead of build people up. And that's not what the crafting community is about. You know, if you want to do that, go join Survivor. You know? But, uh, my fingers are slippery. I still have glue on them. There we go. All right. So, that's the beginning. I'm sure I'll have another video. In the future, I don't know if it'll be the very next video I make, but probably because this is the one thing that's been on my mind for the last week. Once I got my Sherlock journal out of the way, um, and then the envelope journals out of the way, uh, when I saw this, I thought, it, well, it took me a few days to come up with how I wanted to try and put it together. You know, and what's really cool is, let me put the cap back on my glue. For now, anyway. These tabs that you cut off of the uh, file folders, you know, you can glue those to the edge right here. Let me see. Yeah, right there. And it'll say, you can write on there, you know, Halloween, Christmas, whatever, or January, February, March, however you want to do it. And when you open it, you can just automatically flip to that section. So that's another way to, to do that. But on that note, again, I'm going to let you go. And um, remember, always, always, always find the humor in life. Because if you don't, life sucks. Trust me, I know this firsthand. Um, and always give yourself the freedom to craft yourself silly. Seriously. Because if you don't have craft or inspiration or anything like that in your life, your, your life just kind of gets blah. I mean, no fun. You just kind of go stale. See, these are some of my leftovers from uh, when I did the envelope journal. I can use some of those in here. But, okay. See you later. Hope to see you next time. And God bless. Okay, I am back. Uh, just a quick update. I worked on the graphics book. Well, the greeting card book. <laughs> 
that I started out with and I turned it into a graphics book. But um, I worked on mine kind of decorating a little bit and I just wanted to show you what I ended up with. Um, so you can kind of get an idea where I'm at. So here we go. Here's the cover. Um, I used another file folder that I got with a uh, desk organizer. It came with a stack of file folders that matched and this was what was on it. I thought it was pretty cool. So I just, since I was using file folders with the rest, I figured I might as well decorate the top. And because I was using chipboard, <clears throat> what I used for the glue which I'm pretty sure, but I could be wrong. I used um, some matte gel. Just hopefully will work a little bit better than just regular Eileen's. And because both of them were so stiff, I wanted a stronger glue. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> I used... Um, the same paper pad to decorate all the pages so that way they match. This one's called Once Upon a Time from Die Cuts with a View. And it's got some really pretty papers in it. And so, see, not quite shabby chic, but vintagey. And I printed out some words. <clears throat> There's my steampunk. Now, some of these are tailored to things that interest me, you know, like, um, Obviously, Sherlock Holmes. There's sentiments, words, architecture, glitter metallic, Doctor Who, Alice in Wonderland. Those are things. That's my next journal is the Doctor Who journal. There's cartoons. I love frogs, though. Who drinks? Birthday fairies, mushrooms. See, the only... Paper in that paper pad had a fairy on it, but I couldn't find a fairy any other place, so it was right down here in the corner. I may get out some of my stamps and just add a couple, but eh. There's my flowers and leaves. Mermaids under the sea. And springtime. So, this is, this is what I've got. <clears throat> this is how I finished it off. And I may later on, you know, if I get froggy, haha, uh, stamp the bottoms. Um, I did put paper on the bottom of this one, but then it was kind of a royal pain in the butt to get it up under the flap. So I figured instead of dealing with the rest of it like that, I'd just do the top part and stamp the bottoms if I want, you know, for examples. But uh, other than that, there's the inside back cover. So the cover here and the back cover and then on the inside of these right here was one entire file folder. There was nothing left over except one itty bitty sliver of uh, material. So that way, that was kind of cool. No waste on that one. But... Yep, yeah. and that's my final project. Um, like I said, tailor it any way you like. And I hope you have fun with it. So everybody, have a great day, and I will see you soon.